What happens when you upload a baby picture to Facebook anyway? Well, it goes from your computer through a bunch of wires out of your city and travels at nearly the speed of light until it gets here. This is Facebook's first data center located in Prineville, Oregon. To call it massive is an understatement. It's got buildings big enough to fit four football fields in and all of it so that you can view that throwback Thursday photo whenever you want. So Facebook has six data centers around the world, all but two of which are in the United States. This one was the first, and it's quite a sight. Many of the technologies inside were invented by Facebook. One example is air cooling. Oregon's nice and cool, and Facebook realized that it can take air from the outside, mix it with water and computer exhaust, and find a way to cool its computers without needing to use energy-sucking air conditioners. Why cold air? Well, computers can't run too hot, or they just don't work right. They also can't run too cool, or they have the same problem. Behind all those blinking lights, that's Facebook. So is this, and this, and this. How much of Facebook is stored here? Well, all of it. If Facebook's other five data centers were suddenly to stop working, you could still rewatch your old Ice Bucket Challenge video, and Facebook hopes, you won't even be able to tell anything was wrong. By the way, there are exactly 10 people on staff who fix computers all day long. Facebook is experimenting with testing its app on a bunch of different phones, even old ones dating back as far as 2011. The last little nugget, a computer that can learn to paint. This is a computer program analyzing thousands of paintings and then using that information to paint one of its own. 